Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com, and today we're going to show you how to uh, essentially get rid of all the bloatware and um, uh, maybe clean up Windows if it's running a little uh, sluggish. Uh, Microsoft offers a neat tool to help you do that. Uh, so we're going to take you through the steps of uh, getting using the uh, Windows Refresh tool. Um, so you want to open your browser and go to microsoft.com forward slash n dash us forward slash software dash download forward slash windows 10 start fresh uh, and we'll uh, include that link in the uh, description below uh, here you'll want to click on the uh, download tool now button now download just really quick here Uh, the site does take a minute to respond though um, <clears throat> I did download it already so if you just click that uh, oh there it is uh, so you click it open it get it installed um, it'll take just a minute and then you get to this screen here um, here you'll want to just go through and accept the license terms if you so choose uh, if you don't you can't use the tool but uh, just press accept uh, and then this is the final screen here uh, where you can give your PC a fresh start uh, basically it'll remove apps that were installed on the PC as well as all your settings and so on uh, the best time to use this tool is when you first get a new machine that has a lot of bloatware on it uh, just so you don't lose all of your settings and such uh, and you have two options keep personal files only uh, some of your personal files will be kept here uh, and only your settings and apps will be, de be deleted uh, if you click nothing uh, you'll start with a completely clean slate as if you had never set up windows before uh, and so I if you've been uh, if you've had the machine for a while I'd click on keep personal files only just to uh, uh, not run into any uh, frustrations with losing things uh, and then once you choose your option you press start uh, and then you uh, just need to sit back and relax because this takes a really long time um, it basically downloads the image of Windows and then reinstalls it so the time it takes is also highly dependent on your internet connection um, but even just uh, reinstalling it on the machine takes a good amount of time too so this is something you might want to do uh, before you go to bed and just have it run and then hopefully it'll be done by the time you get up and yeah that's all there is to it folks uh, I, we've got more great videos over on our YouTube channel uh, and we also have a companion article to go with this that goes in a uh, bit more detail uh, we'll include that link in the description below as well uh, and yeah once again, I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.